Hi, my name is Mark Scare. We're here at the Amram Proof of Concept Center in Chicago. I'm here with Airline Hydraulics, and today we're gonna to be showing you some of Amram's technology. So this is our Sysmac wall. Uh, this is a showcase of the breadth of product that Amron has to offer. Everything on the wall is being controlled from our NJ5 in the middle. Uh, there are two primary networks that we have. So you can see the two cables coming out. Anything connected in green is Ethernet IP. Anything connected in yellow is EtherCAT. We really like EtherCAT for our machine control network because it's very fast, it's very deterministic, and it has very low jitter. That makes it ideal for applications like IO and motion. Moving down the line here, we'll start with our NAHMI. Uh, this is the machine operator interface. Uh, the, one of the key aspects of our HMI is that it has a built-in VNC server so that you can remote in from a PC or other personal device. Here we have it on a PC uh, that is being mirrored to a TV on the wall. Next, we have some of our uh, Ethernet IP safety devices. Uh, this is a NX CSG uh, safety gateway with our SL5700 safety CPU. Uh, and then we have our SMD IO terminal. The SL5700 is great uh, if you're using it with our NX1 or NX5 PLCs, you can actually run uh, FSOE and SIP safety from the same safety CPU. Next up down below, we have our high-speed synchronization application. Uh, this is just showing how well we can synchronize multiple motors together without any clashing or grinding of gears. Uh, we supply both the linear motors and the rotary motors for this application. Next, we have our OS32 uh, laser safety scanner. Uh, this is sending out lasers in a 270 degree arc looking for any reflections that would indicate an obstacle, maybe a person coming into the safety zone. We have it configured that if you come into the yellow warning zone, it will slow down our application below. And if you come into the red safety zone, it will trigger an e-stop. Uh, the safety is being run by our SL3300 safety CPU here. Uh, that's running all of the functional safety over EtherCAT on the wall. Uh, and next to it, we have our 1S servos. Next up, uh, we have our vision section. Uh, this is our FH vision controller. Uh, you can connect up to two, four, or eight cameras to a single controller. There are over 100 vision tools uh, for different inspection applications, whether it's something as simple as blob for presence absence, line level for a filling application, or for defect inspection. This is uh, connected to our Amron IPC, uh, showing Sysmac Studio here. Sysmac Studio is our one-stop shop for commissioning, troubleshooting, programming, and everything else. Uh, almost everything on this wall can be programmed in Sysmac Studio. That includes the controller, motion, I.O., and safety. It's great because if you have very complex projects, you don't need to be going through different software packages. You only have one software, one project file that you need to share with all of your engineers. Below that, we have some uh, basic electronic camming. And next to that, we have our flying shear and rotary knife. Uh, Sysmac Studio has a lot of tools to make these types of applications very easy, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, there are function block libraries available for flying shear and for rotary knife applications, so that your uh, time to development is as short as possible. Uh, next up, we have our MX2 and RX2 inverters for large motors, such as overhead cranes or conveyor belts. And then we have our G5 servo bank showing 32 servos all synchronized together geared to a virtual master. At the end, we have our distributed IO bank with our NX IO. Anything with the red color is gonna be safety rated and anything with black is standard. We have a myriad of different IO slices for digital, analog, uh, temperature sensors, temperature controllers, pulse outputs, encoder inputs, basically anything you would need, we have a slice for it. Uh, we also have IO Link masters, so if you have IO Link devices uh, for that preventative maintenance or Internet of Things data, uh, we can support that as well. So there's no dedicated robot controller here. Um, instead, uh, that robot control is done on the machine automation controller, and then we just have the individual servos and IO. Uh, that's different from like a traditional robot where you have a specific robot controller and then the PLC just sends that commands for where to go. So this will do a little dance. Hopefully it shows up well on camera.
So it just showing the different like types of movement? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, typically you see the conveyors, uh, they would do conveyor tracking yeah. and they can place uh, uh, different objects. Thank you for visiting with us today. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, for more information, reach out to your local airline representative or visit us at automation.amron.com.